So last year I read that in Dubai it rained more than it did here in Chile. Yes, in fact, 84.5 millimeters there and 82 millimeters here. But why is this important? Let's take a look at the Dubai landscape and skyline. Most prominent aspect that we see is a desert. And now let's take a look at some, uh, some picture of Santiago. And it is very different and it doesn't have many similarities, at least to the eye. But there is one thing they have in common, that it is a threat that we can see in many other cities and countries, which is a lack of water due to global warming. Global warming, or how some people may call it, the end of the world. And that is a term and sentence that suits it very well, as this is a threat to all humanity and to us all, the flora and fauna that inhabit this earth. So some of the reasons for global warming are some that we can't control. Uh, the variations of the solar in the planets that orbit the, the sun, the solar activity, or volcanic eruptions. But most are things that we are responsible for. For example, uh, greenhouse gases, mining, deforestation, the industrial revolution, and those are only some of the many aspects that contribute to global warming. But I won't be spending this talk listing reasons why we are the ones to blame and why we're terrible and affecting this earth negatively. Instead, I will be discussing a solution, and specifically in this country. So why, are we dis why am I discussing Chile? If we're talking about clean energy sources and how to change global warming, shouldn't I be talking about a country such as the US and using the, the, that nation's perspective if they have a great relationship with other countries and they can raise more awareness? However, Chile has special conditions that allow it to be a potential mass producer in clean energy sources. As said by Invest Chile, with the investment section of the Chilean government, we have the best conditions for solar energy production in the world. So the best force for Chile is green hydrogen. But what is green hydrogen? It, is, it includes the process of making water into energy in the process of electrolysis. It with technology, it would separate the elements that are the, are the components of water, H2O, separate the hydrogen, the H, and the O for the oxygen. So one of Chile's benefits is the temperature in the desert. And it may be interesting to talk about this because as we know in how we saw in the first picture, the Dubai has a, a desert that is more obvious to the eye and we can see that it has warmer temperatures. And in Santiago and in Chile, we have the Atacama, which has a significantly lower de temperature uh, degree. For ex here, we see Santiago at 20 degrees Celsius and Dubai at 50 degrees Celsius. But it is a fact that solar panels work more efficiently with a lower temperature. In Dubai, the heat would be overwhelming while here in Chile and in the Chilean desert, 20 degrees Celsius would be a, the perfect amount to get the energy. And also, it has the advantage that at night, it isn't too hot. So now, the vast ocean coast. As mentioned before, H2O is very important. And we would get that from the ocean. But again, why are we talking about Chile if there's other countries that have a much larger ocean coast and have national plants. For example, France, Germany, or England. Hydrogen is entering the energy matrix and they have plans to use hydrogen and energy. So why talk about Chile? As mentioned in the process before, Chile can't uses green electricity. Some countries use oil or gases, and some use renewable energy. But Chile has the advantage of using the solar power and the use of the sun. Also, as we can see, some countries use windmills, 
which affect negatively the fauna since it kills birds that are migrating and that is something that we do not want. Now that we know that Chile has a great potential and it is in a good position, we may think that's it, we don't have anything else to do, the country is going to move forward, it looks like there could be a plan. But if we expect the country to change, then we have to expect ourselves to change. We have to adjust and modify our habits. And along with our habits, we have to adjust and create a whole new mentality. We have to acknowledge that the Earth is one, and it's a place that we all live in. Clean energy sources are our new hope. We have to appreciate and take care of this planet. We have to see our options and conserve. And that is just a simple process, or it could be difficult, of just repeating the cycle. So now, awareness. It is a fact that 40% of energy consumption would change if we were the ones who changed. Turning off the lights when we do not use them, or use products with carbon neutral effect and, and footprint. And, it is, and Chile is trying to reach the goal by 2050 that it would become a carbon neutral nation. And at the rate we're going, it is almost impossible to accomplish this. And we are responsible for that. Then we have to care. Energy prices has, have gone up and it ha they have affected countries that are un economically not stable. And if we have to care for those countries and understand that they don't have the advantage or benefit that we do of just wasting energy whenever we want. To help the earth and help others, not only ourselves, we have to sacrifice some of our comfort. So awareness, know, understand, act. Sacrifice short-term comfort, our daily habits and our goals, um, the things we like to do at a regular day for long-term comfort. The comfort of knowing that our Earth is at less risk and is, is at less danger because of global warming, because of the actions we're taking. If we're living to decrease our carbon footprint, and then live with the sun, like our ancestors did, our forefathers, where, where the sun comes up, we take advantage of the time. Do your chores that require electricity then. Do the TV, do the things you like, but when the sun is up. And when the sun sets, unless it's necessary, do not use it, and that's how we would change. We must be better citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.